Good afternoon, dear traders. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Insta Forex Economic News TV channel with us, Kate Nidachna and Annika Sadkina. You're watching Combined Currency and Commodity Review over the last week. How the situation unfold on the currency flow? The US dollar fell against other currencies during Friday's trading session. And what supported the bearish mood? The publication of September meeting minutes of the Fed and increase in global oil prices. The currencies of the emerging countries showed the best performance. The Indonesian rupiah jumped by 9.2% to be in the growth leaders. Besides, the euro looked the biggest weekly increase over the month. It lifted 1.3% to $1.13.56 at the end of the Friday session in New York. On Friday, the US dollar went down against a basket of currencies as the latest meeting minutes by the Fed fueled the hopes that the rates will be left unchanged until the next year. Moreover, soft September employment data from the USA added to the bearish mood. Expectations of a lift-off by the Fed this year were the major driver for the US dollar since summer 2014. However, low inflation and slower growth in developing countries made investors cautious. At the same time, the Canadian dollar benefited from the 9% rally in oil prices. This fact, together with weak greenback, helped the loonie to accumulate 1.6% over the last week and rise to 1.2946 on Friday. The Canadian currency continued its uptrend on Friday, even after the publication on a tepid rise in unemployment in September. It should be noted that despite the US dollar decline against majors, the ICE index still remains in the green area. It jumped by 21.6% since last July. And this is all about the currency news. Thank you for the Forex market of Vianna. You're welcome, Kate. And what about the commodity markets? Prices for oil sought last week. And what was the reason for such a strong uptrend? Investors spat on further contraction in oil extraction in the USA. Meanwhile, analysts believe that oil oversupply and high production rate will curb the price growth in the range of US 60 US dollars per barrel until the year end. Weaker greenback and conflict in Syria also supported the prices for black gold. As the bell rang to close nine maxation, November futures for WTI oil rose 20 cents up to the peak of July 21, 49.63 US dollars per barrel. The weekly increase cloaked in at 9%. That was the most significant weekly growth since August. On top of that, Brent oil futures dropped 40 cents in London to 52.65 US dollars per barrel, thus accumulating 9.4% over the week. Gold managed to go up thanks to uncertainty over the rates hike by the Fed. As a result, the US dollar went down and gold became more lucrative for investors. The summer gold futures jumped $11.60 to close at $1,155.90 per troy ounce, the highest level since August 21st. During the week, the yellow metal added 1.7%. Kate, thank you for the Commodity Markets Roundup. You're welcome, Anna. You have watched Combined Currency and Commodity Market Review on InstaForex TV channel. The review was presented to you by me, Kate Nidachina. And me, Anna Kasatkina. Take care and goodbye. See you.